Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Demelza's Delights. My middle name is Demelza and it of course is a delight to be vegan. My channel is 100% vegan and cruelty free and I am based in New Zealand, meaning that all of the products you see in my videos are obviously readily available in either Australia or New Zealand. Today we are working with an Australian brand. This is Anika Organic. They have sent me their lipsticks to use in my videos and obviously to show off just how amazing vegan beauty can really be. The Anika Organic lipsticks are obviously organic. They are non-toxic. They are beautiful shades, all cruelty free and vegan. Some of them are matte, some of them are metallic. It is a lip swatch video. You're going to see all 12 of these shades on my lips and I will tell you which of their lip liners pairs with which of their lipsticks. So that's their six vegan lip liners and their 12 lipsticks. Let's get into the video. The first shade I am swatching for you today is Cherry Blossom. I'm going to pair that with Moroccan Rose lip liner. I'm going to show you this lip liner up close just on its own because it is a stunning colour. It almost has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. So I hope you can see that. And now I'm going to go in with this beautiful, beautiful orangey type of colour. So this is their Cherry Blossom shade. And again we've got a beautiful metallic colour. So if you're into oranges, you're going to really like this one. This is a shade I would easily wear out at night. I think it is very complimentary. It's not a colour I thought I would normally wear. I'm sure I said those exact same words in my last Anika lip swatch video. Uh, but yeah, I really love it. And I need to start wearing it more often. It's beautiful. The second shade I'm swatching for you is called Autumn Love. I'm going to pair that with their Nude Delight lip liner. Again, any of these lip liners, I really feel like they can be worn as um, lipsticks themselves. You can see how pigmented this is on my lips and it gives you a beautiful metallic shine. But using a lip liner just generally tends to make your lipsticks last longer. It's also good for me to be able to show you which lipsticks I would pair with which lip liners. And this one is called Autumn Love. It is again a nice burnt orange shade. This is one of their newer formulas and it definitely is a lot more moisturizing than their old formulas. I found that the old formulas tend to dry out a little bit quicker on your lips but also in the tube. This is a very stunning shade, not a shade I think I would wear. <laughs> it's a bit dark for me. I also think the eye makeup that I've got on today definitely does not suit the look on my lips. I feel this color would be beautiful on darker skin tones. the rules ever so slightly. I'm not going to use a lip liner with this next one but I'm still going to tell you the lip liner colour that I would pair with this one. I would use Nude Delight or Moroccan Rose lip liners. Uh, I'm going to use Sheer Peach the lipstick on its own because I really want to show you uh, this colour by itself. I feel like adding a lip liner underneath would actually change the colour of this one. So it does say that it's sheer peach and that is exactly how it applies. It just applies slightly more sheer than the other ones. But you do still get a really beautiful metallic finish with this lipstick as well. 
Using one or two layers you can see that it's already quite opaque. It has a beautiful nude finish to it. I like this one so much better than the last one. But as you can see it is still quite sheer. So you can see your natural lip colour underneath this lipstick. But I really like that. I think it's got a beautiful finish to it. I think I would find many occasion to wear this lipstick. So I really like it. I'm going to put that one in my favourites pile. That is one of their newer lipsticks that's sheer peach. I have now got their colour Naked Kiss and I'm going to use that with a new shade of their lip liner called Dusty Rose. This lipstick is one I've worn many a times before, it's quite a pink colour. So it looks quite brown when you pull it out of the tube but when you apply it to the lips it's pinky. So I would describe this colour as a kind of metallic dusty rose. It looks quite brown when I zoom out, but zoomed in you can see that it does have a nice pinky sheen to it. Maybe it's just the top colour that I'm wearing, but um, on camera it kind of looks a bit brown. <laughs> I would wear this with a nice dress in summer. I think it's a really nice colour. Five in at six, halfway I've promised myself a nice lip scrub. So we're at number five now. This is Nude Pink and I'm pairing it with the Dusty Rose Lip Liner. You'll probably notice that I'm using quite similar lip liners just for this shade range. But as the lipsticks get darker, I promise we will change and use some new lip liners as well. These two are a perfect match. I feel this lipstick and lip liner are exactly the same. Now this one is more of a matte finish and I really like that Anika have done that to keep on trend. This is a beautiful colour. I feel like it makes my lips look a lot fuller. Another one of my favourites was the Sheer Peach that I really loved before and said I would put that in my favourites pile and now it's the Nude Pink. I love the finish on this one. More of a matte finish. Um, it doesn't dry down matte but it just looks matte. Still very moisturising on the lips but I love, love, love this one. This shade here is called Honeysuckle and it is beautifully paired with the Moroccan Rose Lip Liner. Liner for me is basically like a guide for the lips. Sometimes I'll put lipstick on and I'll just go right over the lips or I think I'm overdrawing and it's it's not even or it doesn't look right. So that's why lip liner for me is really important. Also so that the lipstick doesn't bleed and also so that the lipstick lasts longer. Ah, I see now. Honeysuckle is more pink. Autumn Love was very orange. It's got a beautiful metallic finish. We're halfway through. I promised myself that halfway through I would treat myself to a lip scrub. So I've made a big old mess. I thought I would just show you the lip scrubs that I have. They're all from Lush. These ones I bought at the different times that they came out. Uh, the Kiss was a Valentine's Day one. And these are all vegan. The Chocolate Lip Scrub was part of their Easter range. Oh, smells delicious. And then we've got Sugar Plum Fairy and Santa Baby which were Christmas releases. I think I'll go for Santa Baby because it's nice and red and I'm wearing a 
red top and it smells like coca-cola not something i drink but the smell is quite nice when i use a lip scrub i just take a small amount on my finger just put it over the lips generally wet lips and over a sink is good <laughs> just a really good way of getting rid of all the dead skin cells much better <laughs> Moving on to a favourite of mine, it is their shade called Flushed, so it is a very pinky colour. I am pairing that one with their Sugar Plum lip liner. So it's a red, but not a red. You can see there on the bottom, it's it almost looks like it's purple, but on the lips it is a pinky red. Flushed has been a favourite of mine for years now. I am wearing the Sugar Plum lip liner once more and this one is called Pink Poppy, a new release of theirs. And this one is another matte like finish. I much prefer this new formula, it's so easy to glide on and it feels really really moisturising. I would call this one my working girl lipstick, <laughs> as in like I would wear it to work if I was working in retail or if I was working in an office job. I think the colour is actually stunning. The more I wear it, the more I'm really enjoying it. I'm really loving this one. I think I'll have to put this one in the favourites pile as well. We are heading to the dark side of the moon now, or the dark side of these beautiful Anika organic lipsticks. All of the shades from here out are quite dark. This one here is called Dark Cherry, it's one of their newer shades. And I'm not going to use a lip liner again with this one, but if I were going to it would be their Safari lip liner. Ooh, a very dark colour. sure I would ever wear this colour. I think it's just too dark for my pale skin. I mean it matches the top that I'm wearing extremely well but I don't necessarily like the look of it. I think it washes me out and I just I just think it's too dark. It's also not very forgiving. It looks very messy on the lips. I'm not sure if that's just because we are how many in? Eight in of our 12 lipsticks. Mmm this one is not for me. The next lipstick is Auburn Ambition. This one featured in the last Anika Lip Swatch video that I did. You can watch that one over here. So we're going to redo this one again. The lip liner I would use with this one would be Sugar Plum, but I'm just going to go straight on the lips. I do really like this colour. this shade I've worn it many a times before and as I said it featured in my old Anika Lip Swatch video I had a lot of comments on it people saying they really liked it I especially like it today with the top that I'm wearing but I have worn this one in photo shoots and it has served me well over the years and I still love it just as much as I did before Two lipsticks that I'm going to show you both use the Sugar Plum lip liner as a base. Well, that's what I would choose to use. Now you're probably thinking, well, I haven't seen you use the lip liner buff with any of the lipsticks. And the reason for that is it's quite white. So I'm going to show you a full lip of the lip liner buff so that you can make a decision on whether or not it might be something you might invest in. Uh, for people who have makeup kits, I think it's a really great idea to buy this shade. It's a very, very nude white shade and I think that you could layer a lot of different lipsticks on top of it and you could also create ombre lips with it. So I'll just show you how white this lip liner is, how nude it is. Obviously <laughs> if you are going to do ombre lips um, this is a fantastic base. Once you move it around the lips it is slightly more nude. 
But that's basically why I didn't really swatch it with any of the lipsticks today because there's none really that match this exact lip liner colour. Uh, but it is a fantastic base. So that's the lip liner in Buff. So going in with the lip liner Sugar Plum, I'm going to show you the lip colour Orchard Fields, which I describe to be um, a plummy colour, quite a dark plummy colour. Just slightly darker than my favourite one, Flushed. Who loves that in my very first Anika Lip Swatch video, which was literally maybe like the third video I ever filmed for YouTube, that I never once look directly into the camera. I think it's hilarious. It's a very funny video to watch now. I highly recommend you go and watch that one. It is actually my most viewed video, which just cracks me up because I think, oh gosh, so many people have viewed that video and they probably think the quality is, you know, really bad and the lip swatches aren't that great, although not they've gotten much better but <laughs> I just think it's funny I never really engage with the audience I'm just kind of doing my own thing I feel like I've left the best till last. This one here is called After Dark and it is one of my most favourite ones. I'm already wearing the Sugar Plum lip liner. I also had a lot of comments on this one in the last video saying that this colour was most gorgeous or that people really like this one the best. So this is why I've left this one till last and you'll see why it is a very very rich evening red. is the reason I left the shade After Dark till the very last swatch and that is because it is one of my favourites if not still my most favourite one. <laughs> it is definitely an evening shade. I think it would look amazing at night time especially if you're going out. It is so stunning and so red. It is one of their matte finishes as well. Very hydrating on the lips and I love the way it makes my teeth look as well. The redder the better because then my teeth look really really white. <laughs> the 12 shades by Anika Organic. As I said before, they're all cruelty free, all vegan, all organic. They have the six shades of lip liners that complement their 12 shades of lipstick. Please comment down below your favorite shade from this lip swatch video. I personally love this one and then you know my other favorites that I had. Let me know if you think there's any shades that they are missing from the range. I think there's a few. I think that they should add a couple more. I can't wait to see if they add some more this year. Thank you so much for watching please leave a like on this video that's the best way you can support me and my channel please subscribe to my channel as well and I will bring you more cruelty free and vegan content thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye